If you've ever been using QuickBooks Online, you might have seen that there are different views that you can use to look at the user interface of QuickBooks Online. There's an accountant view and a business view. And QuickBooks has some plans to change that so that there's all one view, we're all using the same view. But what I wanted to show you guys today is that QuickBooks has just rolled out some new customization for your menu. So what you see and what you use every day, and I wanna walk you through that so you can see how to make QuickBooks a little bit more streamlined and help you find what you want when you want it. So that's what we're gonna look at here today. We're gonna hop into QuickBooks in just a second. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber here. We go through lots of different finance tips and I am here to help you be more successful in your business finances. So if that sounds good, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. All right, so here we are again in the sample company of QuickBooks Online. And when I talk about the view, when I use that term, I just mean what are you seeing here in this in your main screen and as you're using QuickBooks, how what does this look like down the left-hand side of, of your menu? And then over here in the gear icon, you can switch your view down the bottom right-hand corner. This is switched to business view. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a sec. It looks like they're starting to streamline it to where they should look the same. So you do have the ability to switch back and forth, but right now they're looking pretty similar before they were looking really different. So here is what QuickBooks has done recently. So this little pencil has the ability to customize your menu and also create bookmarks. And so what I like about this is that not all of us are using all of the functionality of QuickBooks Online. You might be using it just to track, you know, sync up with your banking, and really you're spending all your time categorizing banking transactions and then, you know, reconciling your bank accounts. And maybe you are not using the expense function and bill pay, and you're not using invoicing at all. And maybe you're not using time and payroll and all these other things. And if that's the case, you, you don't need all of these like, all these extra things on the left-hand side that just clutter up your view. So you can totally customize it now. So if that is the case and you don't need to see sales and you don't need to see expenses, you can uncheck these things. You don't wanna see customers and leads. Yes, you wanna see reports, but maybe no payroll, no time. You're not doing any taxes in QuickBooks and you are not needing any banking services and you don't have any commerce and very not very often you're gonna need any apps. So let's just say all of that Look how streamlined your view just became. And you know exactly where to go. And you can also bookmark things. So if you spend all of your time in bank transactions, for example, this is bookmarked. So maybe you wanna have a bookmark there and maybe you wanna have a bookmark to your chart of accounts because every now and then you need to make some changes to that. And maybe in your, let's see, maybe you also wanna have vendors bookmarked, for example, because with vendors, oops, somehow I clicked time entries. I don't want time entries. I'm gonna uncheck that. I meant to do that so I could show you guys how to take it off the bookmarks again, of course. But maybe you like to be able to go to your bank transactions really quickly, and then I need to make a quick chart of accounts update, and then, oh yeah, I need to go and see how that transaction was coded for a certain vendor, and I need to look up a vendor name. So I really like this because a lot of us use I think it's probably that like 80-20 rule where you're using 20% of the app 80% of the time. So this will help you streamline this to where you can see exactly what you wanna see. And maybe you don't change your menu all that much. Maybe you need a lot of these things. Like you do need payroll and you do need customers and you need expenses and you need sales. That's totally fine. You can even like move them around if you want sales to be higher. Maybe you want sales to be before your transactions. Like you as a user of QuickBooks, maybe you are only in charge of invoicing and you don't do anything else in QuickBooks. You might wanna have sales as being the very first thing for you. So, you know, you, this, is, this is the beauty of customization. You can tailor it to what makes sense for you and how you wanna use it, okay? So really, it's pretty straightforward. You just log into QuickBooks, click on the little pencil and think about, what do you wanna see? And you can always go to reset the default menu if you need to, okay? So if 
you're like, whoops, I really screwed it up. I accidentally took everything off and I don't know where everything is now, or I wanna go back and then modify it from there. You can totally do that, reset everything, and then come back in here and decide, okay, I'm not using time, fine. I'm not using commerce. I don't need any banking services and it's all good. I hope this video has been helpful to you and I hope that this will also save you a little bit of time. If you think this is gonna save you a little bit of time, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and maybe make any comments in the comment section below if you think that this will be helpful. You know, I'm thinking about this right now for myself and I'm like, oh, I didn't realize that I could put the chart of accounts bookmark on there. I should absolutely do that because I'm always making edits to chart of accounts. <laughs> so, all right everybody. Well, thank you so much for being here. And yeah, as always, I'm happy to be here to help and support you grow your small business in a financially sustainable way. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you're subscribed. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye.